Hey guys, um, today I'm doing a special Transformers G1 video review on Transformers um, Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Now this is the, um, the 2012 um, Hasbro G1 version. Um, it's got the cool box art of G1 Optimus Prime. It looks real epic. And this box itself is the same size as um, Dark Clone Battle Convoy um, set released in Japan by the good people of Takara Tomy Japan in 1983. Now at the top here, um, from start to finish shows you um, um, G1 Optimus Prime transforming from his Frightliner 202 truck form into his robot form. And if I manage to keep an up for two vintage 1984 um, G1 Optimus Prime in the near future on eBay with the um, it's bloated gun and bloated fist. I'll be sure to do some video slideshow reviews and some video reviews on that one as well. On the back, shows you all the tech specs and um, tech info, uh, which is real cool, along with the 1984 um, Transformers um, epic um, space battle where G1 Optimus Prime here and his army of heroic Autobots fighting off the evil Decepticons led by the evil Decepticon Emperor Megatron. That's Megatron with the um, with his um, fusion cannon. Looks, this looks real epic. This side of the box, you've got a picture of G1 Optimus Prime, also in his Frightliner 202 truck form, attached to a trailer. Though the trailer is based on the original Hasbro 1984 um, um, G1 Optimus Prime set. Um, along with Diaclone Battle Convoy, and then we've also got some, another cool photo of G1 Optimus Prime um, in his robot form with his bloated fist and bloated gun. On this side, got the same pick G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form and his Rice Liner 202 truck form attached to a trailer. This side of the box, you've got G1 Rodimus Major, also known as G1 Hot Rod. Um, since the 1986 um, Transformers um, film, the Transformers the movie, along with Transformers 2010 in Japan and Transformers Season 3 over in the West. And you've got another one of my very top favourites, Dire Clones, um, um, G1 Ultra Magnus, though his G1 Ultra Magnus is also based on the another one of my very top favourites, Dire Clone car robots, Dire Clone powered convoy released in Japan since 1984. So we've got the box. Um, that's the box out of the way. And he also does come with a set of these um, G1 Optimus Prime reissue um, sticker sheets. He does come with a set of um, G1 Optimus Prime um, reissue stickers. Though these ones are also based um, in Japan in honor of the 15th anniversary of the Transformers in Japan. And I'm keeping these stickers, yes, unused. So I'm not going to be using these stickers, only the repro ones. And he also comes with a set of instructions, which is real cool. And people at um, Hasbro um, decided to keep the um, Dark Clone um, alternate um, formations um, off um, the back of the um, G1 Optimus Prime box and um, the instructions, so that um, they are um, Japanese, um, they're very more Japanese. And pictures in these, in these instructions are based on the Transformers um, 1992. Um, G2 Optimus Prime sets released in both the United States of America and in the United Kingdom since 1992, 1993, not to mention in Europe as well. It's real cool. So I've got the instructions and the stickers aside. Now let's get on with transforming G1 Optimus Prime from his Frightliner 202 truck form into his robot form. So to transform G1 Optimus Prime from his right liner 202 truck form into his robot form, we simply rotate his rear wheels straight down, bend his feet upwards, second, turn fenders out to sides, third, we rotate arms forward, so that's the arms, swivel at both shoulders and his elbows. Four, we rotate this roof panel to reveal the robot's head and then we press it into place. And once you've got the head um, pressed into place, we attach the fists in these little holes provided 
which are apparently his headlights. So once you've got the fists attached into place, we now put in his rifle in any two, one of his two hands, but I prefer to fit mine in here. So now you've got G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form, and he's now ready to fight off the evil Decepticons. Five, from underneath the trailer, we swing out the stabilizer legs out, then we drop the tailgate trailer down. Six, we pull the sides of the trailer apart and drop down. Seven, we pull the metallic artillery robot upwards, which is this um, raised basilized platform. We swing the radar dish and the robot claw into position. So you've got the, um, the robot um, claw and the radar dish or satellite dish into position. And, and the best thing about this gimmick is that his very specialized platform can swivel 360 degrees vertically and his very specialized platform can go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So we've got this trailer out of the way. And eight, to assemble roller the scout, scout's car, we attach one, two, three, four, five, six wheels. To assemble roller, we attach six wheels, as they already are on as they are already attached on mine. And if you like to, you can also um, fit in one end of his hose. Gas pump. See this gas pump? We attach that to the hose. So once you've got the end of that hose attached to the gas pump, we also attach this nozzle at the other end of the hose, like this. Plus you can also fit at top here his gas pump if you so prefer, and give Optimus Prime all the energy on that he needs in case he runs out. Or you can also place it in um, his rifle. But, e but either way, it's entirely up to you. So once we've got the hose, the nozzle and the gas pump attached together, we place roller into these little holes provided, like this, and now, to launch roller, we press this little side launcher and out shoots roller as he's now, as roller is ready to um, go off in a little drive. We also attach two fists. Now, G1 Optimus Prime comes with two, no, four sets of these um, missiles, though I've already got two in my hand, and they're going to be fitted into his raised basilite platform or rear rocket post which is going to be placed into the um, little missile launchers and if you want to put, launch out um, a missile press um, this little black button here where my finger is and up to the missiles and if, and if any of you have any dark cone drivers Listen, you can also fit one to one to fit up to like oh, you drop the roller. Fit up to like one, two, three Diaclone drivers in G1 Optimus Prime's trailer or Diaclone Battle Convoy's trailer as well. So we've got the trailer aside. Need to drop the roller there. <laughs> roller nearly got Got some, got lost. <laughs> and oh, another thing I've got to point out in regards to diaclone drivers is that you can fit up to four diaclone drivers inside roller here, and this looks real. I have to say, it looks real, real epic. Or alternatively, if you prefer to, you could also fit up this um, gas pump, which is attached to the hose and nozzle, and place it into one of these two posts, but I 
prefer to fit mine in like this. I prefer to fit mine in this hole so that um, when the robot's claw um, grabs hold of it and keeps it into place for G1 Optimus Prime Space Mode and Repair Bay Mode and Preparation Bay Mode. Those is there. Folded there for now. And he looks, and this guy looks real, real cool. He really does. Now, a lot of you are wondering what is the difference between the G1 um, Chronicle CH01 version of G1 Optimus Prime and the Hasbro 2012 reissue of G1 Optimus Prime. And that's simple because they're both the same apart from um, the short smokestacks for the Hasbro version and the, um, the not so shiny silver stickers again on the Hasbro version. But apart from that, um, got, they have the, both the same. Um, Chrome grill, same chrome bumper, same chrome upper legs, oil tanks, oil um, wheel treads. Um, his um, windshield and feet are made of die cast, the rest are plastic. And um, both have the same head sculpts, and they both have the same Autobot symbols, same fists, and the same bloated guns. So, that's going to do it for this edition of the. Um, Transformers G1 Optimus Prime video review for 2012 and um, I'll be sure to do some more Transformers video reviews again real soon and in the meantime you guys take good care of yourselves